Alright, so I'm going to show you very briefly how you can read this assignment. So you see I've got up on the screen one of the lists of Web 2.0 tools. Mm -hmm. If any one of these that we have not already covered in class, you just click on mm -hmm. the information and show you a bit about how to use it. We want to do is uh, show how to use the technology, maybe a few uh, features it has, any you know, downside of that technology as well, and you're pretty much done. So let's go to WordPress.org for our example here. You'll notice I had a uh, the Crutch Computer Recorder open and has the video begin. Again, I'm using that to record this video. Set this up over the full screen. Let's get some information here on what WordPress.org is, how it works, blah, 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 blah. Got all that there for you. Let's go to WordPress.org. And here is the WordPress.org website. You see you can easily download WordPress right there. It's got some extensions right here, so plugins and themes. One of those real fast. So here's a list of plugins for WordPress. Got some uh, features right here. Talking about somebody using class people. Things are showcasing. Let's look at that here. Okay, so we got the featured sites, some of the uh, top WordPress.org sites. It's a good way to show what WordPress can do for Facebook. Right, or again. Okay, so we can visit this website. This is a website created mm -hmm. using the WordPress framework. Alright, so they got like a little slide sure. thing going on here. We can click through. Sure. Alright, as you can see. Very easily, what they're doing with that. I could say some things about the design, but overall, it's pretty nice. I like that. Basically, this is a whole set of they Dave, Dave created here. This is upcoming events, cycling resources, etc., etc. All created using WordPress.org. Let's backtrack a little bit. This is the publishing platform. You can download WordPress right here. Start working on your own. They're down the link right there. I don't even know why we have multiple things to try to do the exact same thing for us, but that's what we better get. Documentation about WordPress. This is where you can get any help if you need it. Always a good place to start if you're having questions. You know, additionally, you can just run a Google search. That always works too. Installation, how to update it. Lots of stuff on how to work it, you know, mm -hmm. lines, advanced stuff, troubleshooting, oh. important, always important. Hmm, so some more about WordPress. Ah, oh, okay, so here we go, WordPress.org. An open source project. Pretty nice, I'm a big fan of open source. You got, uh, no, Firefox I'm using right now. I like the idea, it works pretty well. I think about hosting as well. So, so a few ideas on where you can go to host your website if you don't want to use a produce server at some point down the line. You know, something like Bluehost, Streamhost, etc. You get a few suggestions there, there. on things that meet the uh, WordPress known requirements. So all of these will allow WordPress to work fairly well on their system. With blog. Okay, so we've got WordPress even for the iPhone and iPad. Released uh, in September, the very end of the month. Some of that mobile functionality. Pretty nice. We haven't looked at the themes yet. They like to be good. All of these uh, plugins and themes are things that you can download and add to your own WordPress site. So you can just plug and go to the stuff. Pretty useful, that one. Makes it so that you can customize it, and, and for the most part, however you want it. You see, uh, uh, on these particular themes, they give some information on uh, what WordPress version will be tested for. So, apparently, this one, mm -hmm. events right here, for example, can tested for WordPress version 3.0 plus. Mm -hmm. Examples on uh, different things that they support with or without plugins. Further down, 2010, okay, so that's pretty much your default. Who works enough with that? Yellow black. Right. So you got a few options again. 
different things, you just download it, toss it in, and boom, you got it on the website. This is what WordPress is going to do, it's going to keep you from having a whole lot of coding, but you do have the option to create your own website, to do things uh, really fast, getting stuff set up uh, just the way you want it. So, if you don't want to do a lot of hard coding, or if you know, you're like me, and we just want to get a strong website with uh, a lot of uh, search capabilities, more than dynamic content, WordPress is a good way to go.